at it again. Here is the scene of the crime. Mizuki is with us. We're the number one sidekick. You guys are all in the lead, all right? You guys are in charge of this detective, not me. This case? Yeah, that's right. You guys are going to figure it all out. Detect everything. But here we are once again. And some thoughts before we uh, hop right into gameplay. First thought. Date and Mizuki, right? They're, you know, close. But I want to know exactly, and I don't quite remember, when did Mizuki actually start living with him I think that's something that maybe this uh, route can clear up because in and it will help me understand more of the domestic situation because like was it after Renju and Shoko broke up that um, you know Mizuki started living with us that's something to consider um and another thought that Date have like kind of a how can I put this a relationship with Shoko I, I understand that him and Renju they were buds and you know this is part of like the conflict we're having because you know on one hand we don't want to suspect Renju but everything is kind of like pointing towards him but what was Date's thoughts towards Shoko Nadami was he just like yeah well you know I don't want to get involved or was he like somehow you know, playing a active role in trying to keep them together or supporting their divorce. I don't know those ugly details and maybe I'm not meant to know and it's better left unknown. But this is some things that I'm looking forward to learning more about this route because it, I think it will help solve who killed Shoko or, or at the very least bring some closure to Mizuki's family. So. When I returned to the scene, I brought Mizuki with me. I saw a suspicious figure in Somnium, but I couldn't be sure of its exact location. Well, that's what Mizuki is going to do. She's going to be like, okay, these are the shrubs, this is the park bench, that's the gate, that's the carousel. Wait, what did you say? Carousel. Carousel? I call it merry-go-round? It's the same thing, Date. Fine. I brought Mizuki along to help pin it down. Alrighty then. Lead the way, Sherlock. Somewhere around here, right? Yup. Ah, the sad yup always makes me sad. <laughs> yeah, I know I kind of stated the obvious there, but... You know, her yups are very important. Okay. Oh, this bench is suspicious. Look at it. It's a bench. A bench. Here's the horse turned upside down. It looks like a sad overturned insect. A cicada? In Tokyo, even the nighttime is bright. Huh? Is it? Even in the patches of sky, I can't see the stars. I can't see the stars indeed. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Date. Oh, a UFO. I knew it. I'm telling you, man. No, wait. That's a plane. Oh, a UFO. No, wait, that's a drone. Okay. Where is this gag leading to? Oh, a UFO. No, wait, just a grandma. A grandma in the sky. How good is your eyesight? That grandma is booking it through the night sky. So what, you seeing a witch up there? Like an old granny witch from like Looney Tunes? <laughs> okay. I must be really, really tired. Well, I'm gonna dig down this rabbit hole. There are no stars tonight, except for that granny. She's a superstar in that sky tonight. 
Kate. Focus. My trauma? Yeah, yeah, but you didn't see the witch up there. Kawasaki District Buildings in the distance. Alright, alright, let's get serious. In the past, there would have been a nice paved path down here. I said down here, there's no down in there, but it makes it feel more of a, a live sentence. It's covered in brush and weeds now, but I can still make out the trail heading back. The figure went this way, I'm confident. The path through the bushes leads away from here. Let's go down this path, Mizuki. But first, are you cold? What do you care? <sighs> okay. You got me. You look pretty warm. I just want to be nice. You never cared about me, ever. Oh, whoa. Excuse me? It looks like you just lost your ramen privileges. What, Date? That's so unfair. That's it. You're grounded. And I liked it that way. Well then, this is gonna be me repairing our relationship, isn't it? Well, it takes two. It's a two-way street. So why did you like it that way? Why did you like me not being involved in your life? I don't want you getting close to me. Well, uh, well too late. I'm already close. Nah, social distancing. Six feet. think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Oh, don't go sundere on me. Don't sundere me. It's not like I like you or anything. Baka. Did you think, aw, how sweet she likes me? Well, weren't we supposed to get ramen? Sounds like you're going back on that. Huh. Fine. I'll eat all the ramen myself. Don't get it twisted. Girl, no you didn't. I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. Alright, alright. Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or a cactus. Good luck hugging the cactus. You wanna get all pricked up. In fact, I wish it were a cactus. No. Fine. So stop worrying about me, okay? Uh, alright. Five seconds later. So, uh, you into any sports? Bro, I body lift. <laughs> I'm out here weight lifting. So she says. Oh, I right, but thank you for being the voice of reason in this situation. Yeah, I do. What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. How was that? I was four. Okay, continue. I remember it so clearly. Continue. This is where I saw my mom and dad smile. I had so many happy memories here. Man, want to make some happy memories? How do we do that? Date, it's not so simple. It's not? The only happy memories I really have are from here. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. But now, this is where mom. Oh, oh. I know, I know. Now, now this is all coming together now. I feel it. So, you want to kill the person who did this? What do you mean, Date? 
You're supposed to just take him to jail and throw him away for life for murder. Well, I can bend the rule, you know, make make it seem like an accident, you know. Date. Fine. Uh, Mizuki, even though you just told me what's wrong, I'm going to ask it anyway. Nothing. Okay. I can drop the subject. Just wondering where this goes. Mizuki is looking behind the bush. I guess I should check it out. Did I miss an opportunity to say some more things? Sure did. Iba, what's past here? I wonder, Iba, tell me. This leads to the subway. Okay. I love that place. The sandwiches are pretty good. Not that subway. Okay. A subway? But I do recommend you eat fresh, Date. Your diet lately has been pretty bad. It has of course closed down. It is no longer in service. Abandoned subway. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. How many years ago? I feel like I'm data mining through all these things and trying to be like, okay, wait. That happened eight years ago. That means two years ago this happened, and it all leads back to six years ago. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Oh yeah, they had like a mini nuclear outburst. Bloom Park closed for the same reason. I guess nothing is in bloom anymore. As did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. No. Oh. Ain't that a shame? Why the heck Ota has a diner? I mean, I get it's a family run business. You don't want to throw in the towel or white flag, but you can relocate. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. Well, I'm a cop, so I can get in, right? No, Date. Because cops above you have closed this place down. So you mean I'll be breaking the law? Precisely. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Date, no. <sighs> the subway. Five dollar foot long. Never order meatball marinara. Iba, does the entire track run underground? No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. Okay, okay. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross a surface street at some point. Railroad Crossing. Sounds like to me a perfect place for a hideout. Just saying. You know, it's in a area where it's secluded. Most likely, you know, it's off limits. And I think if you want to hide out, that would be the perfect place to go. And I'm guessing. You see, we're wondering how the heck the body was transported, right? What if... The person who did the crime had some way to get this old abandoned railroad crossing up and running again. Transportation issues solved. Railroad crossing? Iba, do me a favor. We're gonna go there and analyze it? Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Railway cars. I mean, uh, <laughs> 
you know, I might not be the fastest uh, runner in this race, but I am sure he means railway cars. So here's the deal. Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? You've been quiet too. I'm just thinking. Don't hurt yourself, Date. I've got something. What do you got? I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. Oh, it was actually car cars. Huh? Boy, am I a fool. A black SUV. Black SUV? Oh man, that's not good. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. And? It's unregistered, because come on, it can't be that easy. Who was it? Unregistered? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Oh, great. This man was driving a black SUV. Now I'm starting to remember what happened to him, though. When he was driving said car, he got into a car accident with a big old truck. Renju Okira. Serves him right. So let me get this straight. Um, all right. You can shoot. Let me on, you know, your wavelength, let me on that wavelength of yours, you can tell me, tell me off. You think that daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel? Oh, we're talking about Renju. <laughs> I, I thought it was about the ice cream that I uh, ate last night. Yeah, there's no more ice cream. There's no more what? Ice cream. Ah, uh, that tape. We have more important things. Alright, fine, fine. Yes, your father was driving a car on the tracks through the tunnel. So, wait. I wasn't entirely wrong that they were using the tunnels of the subway as a means of transportation. It's just that it's an actual SUV car car on the tracks. Stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park? Yeah, he would avoid detection. I can't prove it was Renju. Good point, they could have just stole his car. Man, it would really help his case if he ever just, you know, came down to the station and explained his side of the story. Do we ever catch Renju? Come on, like this has to be the route where we catch and have a one-on-one -on -one chat with this guy. This guy's uh harder to find, man, than than Waldo, man. <laughs> There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. See? See? I mean, like, she doesn't want her dad to be a hardened criminal. But, in any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using that subway station, you could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Hmm. So... Some thoughts. First off. We know that Ota can drive. Not saying that, you know, he did it, but I'm just throwing some names that who it can't that who it can be besides Renju. So Oda, we know he can drive. Uh, I mean, just throwing Momo. Throwing us. We can drive. So I'm just you know, I'm just going based on what I know. Uh, if, if someone along this story, you know, 
checks out as, oh, well, you know, I can't drive. Mizuki, a kid. I'm assuming she can't drive. She can wait, lift weights, but if she can't drive, boom. Iris can't drive. Didn't kill her then. Um. In any, in any case, I'm trying to say, kids, Iris and Mizuki, are mm, clear. And, and I don't think my partner is sus of anything other than just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Daddy didn't do it. Oh, I hope he did it for your sake. I'm not so certain. Aiba, you might be right. You've never been wrong before. Either way, I have to talk to Renju. We gotta get this man. <laughs> and you can help me find him. Hopefully. Hopefully you don't withhold information. About that Nile message. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? How do I know this? Don't worry, intuition. I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I'm not a buddy of yours, Dante. Oh, by the way. You're the one who likes porn. Dante likes what now? Oh, you didn't hear my eyes say that just now. But imagine though, if like, I will one day just be like, you know, rats out all of Dante's secrets just because he keeps bragging on her, man. I was the best right now. Really, really good, helpful, and you just ungrateful, Dante. Jeez. I got some help from them. Personality. It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious. Man, that's pretty specific. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help, please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. And also, it's a violation of privacy, so... I might have to book you, Date. What? It's part of the investigation. I don't know. I didn't consent to you uh, hacking my phone somehow with that person who's good with technology. Not looking good. I mean, ah. And if anything, that might help uh, Renju or anyone else on the case be cleared of charges because you obtained them through illegal means. Mizuki, stop trying to lower all of this. I don't know, I have been studying for the bar. What? <laughs> it was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... So you kept quiet. Can you blame her, Date? Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. Do you like me now, Dad? But you invited Ota along. Yeah, because he's very, very easy to manipulate. <laughs> he would do it in a heartbeat for anyone. Nice guy. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime right there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Could it, could it take me along? Yeah, but that's it. You're never around. Fine. But it couldn't be him. Huh? Don't slam your, your hand on my cup holders. My cup holders. Why not? Daddy couldn't 
couldn't have sent the message. Go on. Someone else must have used his phone. I would hope so. <coughs> Jesus bless me. Also, take the wheel. And his car. And his social security. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Uh, uh, look, whether he was or wasn't, that's soon to be determined when we follow down these breadcrumbs. Somebody else did it. I mean, if, if, if they did, someone else, they're doing a pretty good job of framing your father. Killer did it, not Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. And we're not counting my uh, other timeline. What are you talking about, Dante? Uh, timelines and parallel universes. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. Think about a week ago. And how was that experience? When I went to hang out at Lemon Escape. Cool. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? Great guy, by the way. Grade A asshole, but anyway. No. Well, you see, Mizuki, maybe he was busy trying not to get caught for murder. Date. Good thing I didn't say that out loud, huh, Iba? You did. Oh. <laughs> not even for his own daughter. That is very unusual. Am I going to go deeper into what they talked about? I don't remember. It was a while ago. Okay, fine, fine. What about you? I haven't talked to Renju in years. What about me? You try calling him. He won't answer my calls. I'm sure of it. I did. called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. And he didn't pick up? No. Date, incoming call from the boss. Did I lock myself again from other conversations with Mizuki? Jeez. I gotta stop being so uh, persistent on certain leads. I'll keep that in mind. Like I'll be like, oh, this one hasn't gone away, so let me go to the other ones next. Okay. Anyway, the boss is calling, and you know what that means. I gotta make sure my breath is good. Date, it's a phone call. Oh. Connected. Hey, I just got the report from Iba. Yes. Suspect? Yes. <laughs> he's definitely suspicious. No, he's not. <laughs> Is that boss on the phone? Tell her I said hi. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. Maybe not. <laughs> he's been acting strange since last night. <laughs> last night. <laughs> I mean, Renju was a pretty strange guy. He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. He could be, uh, sick. That's right. Nah, but we do know from the past timeline he was in a car crash. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder, either. Hmm. He doesn't? No. 
Not one we can corroborate. Man, not looking good for our boy Renju. I mean, we know in the past timeline, he helped a hardy criminal. Number 89 escape. And has ties to our very own Pewter. So Renju was questioned at a local station? Clarify, please. He was. That's right. Let me, let me give me the deets. What, what did he say? Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. Okay, okay. Did you give him your card saying, hey, we'll call you again if we find anything funny? Like having his daughter in the back seat saying he sent Nio messages possibly or drove a car underground. Can we give her this new information and then she can reach out to him and say, hey, in light of new evidence, we need you to come back down to the station. When are you available? I'm sure protocol is, is important in all. He wasn't a suspect then and we have nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. Facts, big facts, but now we have a suspect and new evidence now. He's a suspect now, new evidence, come on. Boss, you on this, get on it, come on. So about this questioning. He didn't give us any new information. Okay, no. What did you ask him specifically? He didn't have much to say at all, really. Hmm. Okay, I can believe that. But... Never okay. Theory time. Okay. If we don't somehow track Renju and get him back into the station in this playthrough, and then we have to go to another timeline to do so, then I am sussing boss because again, we have evidence, at least a, a means to question. So it's a matter of tracking. I would assume if we pull together our resources, mine, horses, uh, Mizuki, we can get him. But if any part of that chain, let's say, and this is pewter included, which we know works with Renju, kinda interferes with that. What what's really gonna tote the line here is maybe I can't trust anyone in uh, my own organization. Because we know Pewter just works with Renju, but that doesn't mean Renju and him had Shoko and Nadami killed, right? It doesn't mean Renju killed Shoko, it doesn't mean Pewter killed Shoko, and it doesn't mean Pewter knows anything about the murder. It just could be a separate situation that makes Renju look suspicious. Remember, I think I theorized back in Iris's room towards the end that, hmm, I wonder if Renju knows about Iris's condition, wanted to sink with her in that abandoned warehouse to save her. Wouldn't be too far-fetched because he would have some inkling of what sinking is from Pewter, science guy. A couple of drinks, they throw back. You know, Pewter, this sink stuff looks interesting. Tell me more about it. And then, you know. So again, Renju, huge red flag about the murder of Shoko Nadami, but if we use information from the previous timeline, we can theorize some of his actions are linked to Iris and not Shoko, get what I'm saying? So yes, he was at the scene of the crime, and yes, he is doing shady things by driving an SUV underground, but then it doesn't match up with what his ambitions are towards Iris. Now, unless nice as long as it's actually real, and he's a part of that, and uh, you know, Iris was actually turning two of which I'll be real if y'all I mean my first inkling was Iris's imagination is crazy and that route will continue the further that in stone. Okay, I've been rambling a lot here. But to further you know make this clear, right? To further make this clear to continue on this train of thought, right? I want to make this 
interesting, right? And I think also my computer froze, so that actually kind of helps us. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, to make this further, you know, more interesting, and to wrap this thought up, if Renju is not guilty, we're not gonna find out who killed Shoko then. <laughs> that sucks, but here we go. Now I told you he vanished. Yeah, you did tell me he did vanish. Where are you headed? Well, if I told you where I'm headed right now, would you believe me? It's an underground subway. Benju's house. What? <sighs> Fine. He won't be there. But we can go there. We've never been there. Bother. Why not? I had local cops search the place. Didn't find anything. Oh. Cool. <sighs> Where could he be? About Renju's alibi. Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Okay. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that means no one can back up his story. I can see boss to my left eye. Aiba is streaming the image in real time. I don't have a cell phone, never cared for one. But Iba can connect to any network in range. That's how I'm able to communicate with HQ, which means if Iba ever gets cut off, I'm cut off from HQ. To Mizuki, I look like I'm talking to a Bluetooth. She doesn't see what I see. All right, boss. Catch you later. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Where the hell did Renju go? Uh, sun poke? Don't act like you don't regular there, Sunfish Pocket. What? Um, Sunpoke. Or something. Sunfish Pocket. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. I found it. Good for us. Approximately 6.2 miles north-northeast. In Akihabara. Great place. Sunfish pocket. Holy oh, no! fuck! Oh, 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 oh no! Shit! Damn! Damn. Who 
who has it out for Mizuki, yo? They kill both her parents. Shit. Oh my, ah, D damn right, we gotta report this. You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? Terrible question to ask. I don't think anyone would be able to sleep after seeing what we saw. So, with that being said, I gotta, I gotta end this episode. I gotta let that fizzle in with you guys back at home on your computer screens, tablets, or any other device you guys be watching this, man. Shit. Boss, you look great, as always, but I'm for troop. I hope you guys uh get some sleep. Maybe you continue your day and focus on getting anything done like work or chores and and then we'll 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 um pick this up <laughs> man one quick thought i was right it way too much signs were pointing to renju but didn't expect to see the guy basically hook line and sinker like a fish oh man anyway Take care, Alpha Troop. This has been uh, a twist, a turn for the worse, more murder, two bodies. I am officially Mizuki's uh, guardian. We're getting the paperwork done right now. Date will have full legal custody by the next episode. Later.